I'm Rick Harrison, and this is my pawn shop. I work here with my old man and my son, Big Hoss. Everything in here has a story and a price. One thing I've learned after 21 years, you never know what is going to come through that door. On this episode of Pawn Stars... Okay, so what do we have here? A heavy-duty BMC pedal tractor from the 1950s. Okay, I bet it's hard to plow a field with this thing. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Came to the pawn shop today to sell a pedal tractor. It was packed away and just happened to come across it when I was cleaning out my mother's apartment. I'm hoping to get $300 for it, but um, I don't want to take it back home, so I'll take whatever I can get. Where did you get this? It was a birthday gift, actually, when I was three years old. All right. I mean, it's a neat part of Americana. I'm familiar with BMC. They sold out to AMF in the mid to early 50s, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And they weren't cheap toys, too. This thing was probably like 20 bucks, which was a lot of money in like, what, 1950? 1950, exactly. I used to chase my friends around down the street uh, with this thing, and uh, we had races, and it was an awful lot of fun. Kids always want to do what their parents are doing. So companies have been manufacturing pedal cars just about as long as real cars. A tractor like this would appeal to a farm kid or just about any kid whose dad had a riding lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've definitely got your use out of it. Um, yeah, I mean, normally it would turn a lot better than this. It can be fixed, though. And this thing could really use a paint job. <laughs> Guys my age love pedal cars because they remind us of our childhood. So I know I can sell it, but I have to restore it first, and that cost money. How much were you looking to get out of it? Uh, 300 Restored in a really good condition, you can get over $1,000 for these. The problem is, this is a more common one, and that's why it only goes for like $1,000 restored. So I'd go like 50 bucks. 50 bucks? My God, can't you give me something? This is the problem. It usually costs me five, six hundred bucks to get these things restored, whether it's a rare one or a common one. How about 150? We'll call it a deal. If you can get a thousand for a restored one, that's really what it should be. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll go sixty dollars on it. Okay, I guess so. All right, sixty bucks. All right. All right. Thank Come on you. up front, I'll write you up. Okay. I think he was lowballing me because he knew I didn't want to take it home. But I have $60, which is better than nothing, I guess. 